before his uh, second round match, seeing off uh, one of the European qualifiers, uh, Bernard Royth, uh, by six legs to two. Yeah, using new darts against Bernard Royth. Actually hit a nine darter in practice with him ahead of the match when he was practicing with Darren Webster. Only averaged just shy of 90, though, against Royth. He didn't need to average any more than that, but you would think if he's going to overcome Whitlock, he's going to have to up his game. Whitlock been a little bit under the weather. With uh, two defeats out of two in the Premier League for Whitlock, but hopefully he's uh, recovered to put on a good show here and uh, regain a title he won back in 2012 a real stellar year it was for the big Australian 2012 winning this event the European Championships in Mulheim and also reaching the uh, final of the Premier League that year yeah beat Paul Nicholson in the final of the Dutch Darts Masters two years ago it wasn't held here it was in Newland Nicholson of course sounds like a Geordie actually Whitlock's World Cup partner for Australia and a bit of a hiding, a 6-1 win. As well, he'd beaten High Bricks, Ian White, Pear Larson. Only lost 11 legs in the whole tournament. He knows what it takes to win one of these. He also knows what it takes to go a long way in them. He's, he saves his best, it would seem, for Europe, Simon Whitlock. And this looks like something approaching his best. And he doesn't get any better. A maximum for Simon Whitlock. First leg of the tournament, first maximum for him. Stuart Kellett did hit four in his match against Bernd Royth. So already down to a checkout after nine darts. Treble 20 would leave the bullseye, but he'll set it up with Kellett back on 2-1-7. Kellett, a relatively newcomer to the PDC the last couple of years making his way up towards the world's top 32 and he did reach a final in the UK Masters last March beaten by John Park but he'll be looking to progress on and get to the business end of more and more tournaments as he gains more experience on the PDC tour double top then for an early 1-0 lead with the throw for the Australian. Yeah, Kellett beaten by John Pye in that UK Masters as Kellett looks for his first maximum of the match, and there it is! It just gives a little acknowledgement to the support from the crowd. But Whitlock looks to hit back. It's not going to be a maximum. It's just a ton. But he really did do it the hard way, going all the way to the final of that UK Masters, Kellett. Look at the names he beat. Peter Wright, the World Championship finalist this year. Colin Lloyd, a former world number one. Dave Chisnell, Premier League star and Grand Prix finalist this year. Robert Thornton, a UK Open champion. And Andy the Hammer Hamilton, again, a Premier League and a, a world finalist. That is some list of names to beat in a single weekend. He may need to beat another host of names if he's going to go very far in this because Simon Whitlock's obviously standing in his way at the moment Wes Newton the 8th seed Premier League player two time major finalist he's waiting the winner of this one is it going to be a second 180 of the leg for Stuart Kellett and yes it is 81 left after 9 yeah fantastic stuff from the man from Northwich of a false start from Kellett there, made his way towards the hockey, just took a step back, and Whitlock was retrieving his dart. On for an 11 darter here. Well, didn't need to go the ball route. And now he went for treble 10. The two 15s will produce the same effect. So he's down to double 16. On for a 13 darter. Whitlock can't finish this. All he can do is set it up. And 45 off, so back on the treble 20. Only gets the single. So it leaves him Shanghai. And again... Kellett just a bit eager to get to the hockey there. Just has to take a moment. Step back. No messing around from Stuart Kellett. A 13-dart leg. 
and Whitlock is not going to have this all his own way. Yeah, great response by Kellett. To draw level. 60. And uh, the back end of last year when this Dutch Masters was held, uh, Whitlock reaching the semi-finals, coming up against uh, Brendan Dolan, who was in superb form that weekend, and beaten by the Irishman 6-3. As Kellett looks to switch... Onto the treble 19, but had to settle for a single. Yeah, Dolan was playing fantastically. We saw flashes of that in his win against Kim Hybrex earlier on this evening. A 6 4 win, a 1 6 7 to win the deciding leg. Or what turned out to be the final leg, rather. Otherwise, we would have gone to a decider. And it's Ronnie Hybrex, I beg your pardon. It was Kim Hybrex who beat him in the final here last year. Did say Wes Newton awaits the winner of this one. He was a 6 1 winner over Dean Wynn Stanley earlier this afternoon. Dean Wynn Stanley, good mate of Stuart Kellett, was cheering him on in his first round match. Did say that it was his reassuring presence in the crowd that helped Kellett overcome Burnt Roy. He says he can switch off sometimes if he gets in a lead and doesn't focus properly. Don't think he's going to even have the opportunity to switch off against Simon Whitlock. No, certainly not. Got to be on your game all the way through. He'll keep him on his toes. The Premier League regular Whitlock, although he's not got off to the best of starts this year. Lakeside World Finalist, PDC World Finalist, beaten by Phil Taylor in 2010. Yeah, the dubious honour of being the first man to lose in both codes in the final of the Worlds, I believe. But Stuart Kelly has left himself a finish here on the Whitlock throw. And Whitlock's not going to put a great deal of pressure. Well, that important last dart to apply some pressure. But Stuart Kelly should get a dart at the bullseye at least. He's gone for 16s. He's 58. Bully wants 25 he gets. Interesting to see which way Whitlock goes here. Will he go ball for tops? No, he won't. So it looks like 20 for ball. The bullseye, can he do what Kellett couldn't? No, he can't. And Kellett's hopes of breaking the Australian are still alive. Looking at nine for double eight for a break of throw here. One more dart just inside. And those are the sort of chances you feel that Kellett will have to take if he is to overcome the number nine seed here. Double 16 then. Oh, that was right on the wire. Can he sneak in between the two? It's going to be tight. And yes, hitting the single, that was always going to be the danger. So Kellett coming back then for two fours. And he keeps being afforded opportunities to win this leg. And he's right on the wire. Can he use that to just come in off the barrel? Yes, he can. Stuart Kelly takes a 2-1 lead. And the number three in the world is going to have to come from behind here. Nick locks one major title did come again in Europe the European Championships in 2012 he beat Wes Newton 11-5 in the final it is Newton who awaits the winner of this one as I said 134 from Whitlock as he looks to break straight back against Kellett and regain the advantage the crowd just respectfully watching these uh, two men but I'm sure they will be turning it up to 11 for the next match Michael Van Gerwen the number one seed here reigning world champion and the huge star of Dutch darts alongside Raymond Van Barneveld right now Barney didn't qualify here this uh, weekend but they've got Michael Van Gerwen to cheer on up against Steve Maish. That's the next match 
on stage here. There's still plenty of darts to be thrown between these two, Whitlock and Kellett. And just a little bit of a off leg from both gents so far, this fourth leg, not really got going, either man. 43. Yeah. Treble one for Kelly. He'd already had another one strained to the five. He did 58 prior to that. Not vintage stuff. Really wanted to consolidate that break. Simon Whitlock doesn't usually give you a lot of chances, although it has been, by his own high standards, a lacklustre start to the Premier League after the first two weeks for him. Although he has, as has been mentioned, been struggling with a bit of illness. Well, two well-thrown darts there from Kelly. And the third one finds its target. Yes, a 7-1 defeat on the opening night in Liverpool to Adrian Lewis and then a 7-2 reverse in Bournemouth on Thursday night against Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson dumped out by another Dutchman this evening, Vincent van der Voort, 6-5. Epic encounter that was. This for a 145 checkout, it was double 14. Whitlock needs to find a treble. The 419s leave him double 16 and 108, and look at that. Almost as an afterthought, he turns around to celebrate it. He breaks straight back. Yes, yeah, a little bit of a scrappy leg from both uh, players, that one. Yes, Van der Voort uh, taking out a 138 checkout to beat Gary Anderson in the deciding leg. So Gary Anderson's hopes of back-to-back -back European Tour victories after his victory in Hildesheim a couple of weeks ago were dashed by the big Dutchman. Oh, 60 on the floor for Stuart Kelly. Can Whitlock punish him for that little bit of bad luck? Not really. A slow, deliberate setup and action that Stuart Kelly has got. It's an action that took him to the World Masters final in 2010. It was the world number two in the BDO code. Simon Whitlock looks for the maximum, and there it is. A second maximum of the match for the Wizard. Whitlock racing to the board to retrieve those darts. Before there was any danger of one of them falling out and hitting the deck. A ton 40 then. Potential 12 darter. Won't happen now, but he will try and uh, leave himself a decent finish with Kellett trailing well behind in this leg. Yeah, absolutely ideal from Whitlock there. On a 13 dart leg to move ahead in the match. And Kellett looking for a maximum. And there it is, it may be in vain, it's his third 180 of the match. Does leave him on a finish, but Simon Whitlock has got three darts in his hand and a clear look at double top. He hit it in the first leg. And work his way down from there, it's not an ideal marker. That is no better. And Matt was barely any closer. So maybe that 180. If he was to take the 143 out after the 180, and that is desperately unlucky. Just sliding in. Well, three good darts there, and it will leave him on double ten. But Simon Whitlock has got another three at double top. Will he make this one play? Well, that's just as high as the previous three. That's overcompensating in double ten. The pressure on that's enormous, but he snuck it in. Well, Kelly must have been waiting to pounce. It must have been like a coiled spring behind him, having seen him miss five darts at doubles there. Yes, but he got the job done eventually, did Whitlock. Looking to book his place in tomorrow afternoon's third round where Wes Newton 
will face him or kill it, whoever gets through this one. The third round starting to shape up nicely. We'll start at one o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon, 12 o'clock in the UK, with eight third round matches. And then the evening session with a quarter final, a semi final, and a final all played on a big Sunday of darts here at the Dutch Masters. Yeah, and even though we're halfway through the evening session of the second day, we yet to see a couple of the real contenders as Simon Whitlock looks to fill it up. A 140 will do. Michael Van Gerwen on the way, Peter Wright and Adrian Lewis. Three Premier League stars. Three guys who are playing some of the best darts in the world right now. They're all coming up this evening here through live and worldwide on the PDC YouTube channel as Simon Whitlock looks at 130 for a break of throw and a commanding 4-2 lead. He needs the treble 20 for bullseye. It's just slipped into the next door bed. But Stuart Kelly has got to take out 96 and this isn't easy. Treble 20, leaves double 18 to restore parity. And 3-3, three, three. no, he can't do it. So Whitlock a chance to put some daylight between himself and the Englishman. He wants double 16 here. Well, they are two big missed darts for Simon Whitlock. That was for a breaker throw. He'd be throwing for a 5-2 lead if he'd nailed that. But Stuart Kelly is back. That is a decent marker. And that is exactly why. He wonders why he didn't do it at his previous visit. As it is, it doesn't matter. It's a leg he's won. And it's a leg that makes it three all. Yes, little to choose between them. After six legs of this match, Kelly averaging uh, 89.7. Whitlock just under 87. Both would want to improve on that. I know they would need to if they were to make it to the business end of this competition on Sunday night. But at this stage, they'll just be keen to get the job done. Get into round three. Guarantee themselves two grand for the weekend at least. Yeah, Kellett managed to win 10 grand when he got to the final of the UK Masters and lost to John Park. Only get eight grand for second place now. The slight rejigging of the format. Still get 20 grand to win it. All the more incentive to go all the way. Yes, you could do a lot with two grand. <laughs> Oh, Simon Whitlock looks like a man who must go through a lot of hair care products. <laughs> and I know for a fact that they ain't cheap. It is very carefully crafted, both the, the hair on his chin and that uh, ponytail. Well, he's hit 160 there, Stuart Kelly. He only really wanted 140, but he's hit the double for fear of putting the third dot in the treble 20 if it just caught the flights of the previous two darts and he bust his score it's not the end of the world he'd prefer to throw for double top at the moment but double 10 will have to do and that is a superb way to make the most of it a 13 dart leg that is and that is a break of throw and Stuart Kelly suddenly after being in danger of going 5-2 down has turned this match around Yep, impressive stuff from the relative newcomer on the PDC circuit. And it would be a big scalp, quite literally going back to what we were saying about <laughs> to Simon's hair, the big scalp of the number nine seed, Simon Whitlock, if you were to dump him out here in Veldhoven tonight at the second round stage. And the chance of Michael Van Gerwen start up. 
They're already anticipating the arrival of the world number one and the reigning world champion, the man from just down the road in Boxtel. There's some way to go in this one before we get to that. There's the number three seed. And the former European champion is in danger of being knocked out. We've already seen the reigning Dutch dance master, Kim Hybrex, knocked out by Michael Mansell and Stuart Kelly turning the screw, that's a 180, that's his fourth of the match. And another one that he had to uh, race to the board. With one of the darts just hanging by the bearish, the threads in the treble 20. So he's already down to a 1-2-1, one, a potential 12 darter to go within one leg of victory here, Stuart Kelly. 61 left, 25 for double 18. Well, a missed dart, but he will be back. He may even have another six. Well, Whitlock has hit the treble that he needed. Can he get another? He does. And that is a bit of pressure. You can see the clenched fist from Whitlock. That may not just be a sign for himself, it's a sign for Kellett. Just to remind him, you don't take this out, but it doesn't matter. Stuart Kellett is 5-3 up on the world number three. And Simon Whitlock, the Australian, is staring down the barrel of a second round exit from the Dutch darts masters. He's been so good on the European Tour, consistently making quarterfinals, semi-finals, finals. But Stuart Kelly is on the brink of a third round place. Is this going to be another dream weekend for the web designer? A man who hasn't even made the, the leap to play darts full time. He's still holding down a job and doing this as a side issue. Yes, it's impressive stuff and we've seen a number of the seeds here. In the Dutch Masters, fall by the wayside this afternoon. Are oh, we about to see the number nine seed, Simon Whitlock, head home early? 85. Oh, Simon Whitlock's troubles in the Premier League, bleeding into his form on the European Tour needs something special here we have seen him produce comebacks remember at the european championship he came from 9-3 down to win 10-9 against jamie caven he does that have, have that in his locker he only needs three straight legs against kelly here but only is a big ask because kelly has been steadily upping his average he's now at 95.2 and 41 from Whitlock isn't good enough. Kelly looks favourite to get to a double first here. That's a, a troubling dart for him if he wants to stay on that treble 20. And you can see he's ended up in the one there. He perhaps should have been better off switching and illustrates exactly why as he smashes in a 57. But he's on the 138. We saw Vincent van der Voort take that out. Well, he's not on a finish, Whitlock. He can't do anything here. All he can do is set it up. 63 left. And he's left 50. And Stuart Kelly is looking at the Della, the Keith Della shot. The shot that we saw Vincent van der Voort take out to beat Gary Anderson. Is he going to stay in the trouble 20? Well, he wanted it. Would have left double nine. But he set it up perfectly. And even if Whitlock does win this leg, Kelly would have the darts. And leg number nine. Whitlock really does need to. It is doubles and break back to have any chance of staying in this competition, but it is the match. Well, a fantastic victory for Stuart Kelly, continuing to make his mark on the PDC circuit. And Stuart Whitlock, the number nine seed, his poor start to the year continues. So it will be Stuart Kelly taking on Wes Newton tomorrow afternoon in round three. Coming up next,